Hello, District 8 team. This is District Director Mike Beauchamp, and I want to start out by wishing all of you a belated Happy New Year, as we have already begun 2021. I am confident that this year will be a very successful one because of the great team that we have here in District 8. First, I would like to recognize and thank a group of individuals who throughout this pandemic have shown commitment and strength by ensuring that we have safe places to work. These are the employees of the Department of General Services or sometimes referred to as DGS. These individuals who throughout the pandemic have shown up every day, not only at the district office, but the Transportation Management Center and the Southern Regional Lab as well. They have worked to keep our buildings clean and sanitized so that we can complete our work and keep the Inland Empire transportation system moving. As we are still facing the challenges of the pandemic, I want to remind you to continue to follow the recommended COVID-19 best practices by continuing to wear masks, social distancing, and washing your hands frequently. Although the vaccine is here and an end is in sight, we need to stay vigilant. Together, we will get through this pandemic. Next, I wanna talk about another example of District 8's innovation and trailblazing mentality. As we know, District 8 enjoys geographical diversity that includes areas such as the desert and the San Bernardino Mountains. As part of this geographical diversity, we have a wide variety of animals. The animal safety comes into consideration when developing new projects within the boundaries of District 8. Part of the Interstate 15 Temecula Pavement Rehabilitation Project, District 8 is installing animal fencing to help protect the large mountain lion population in that area. This project is scheduled to be completed later this year. To tell you more about this project, I will pass it over to David Bricker, Deputy District Director for Environmental Planning. Thank you very much, Mike, for asking me to join you on this video message, and hello everybody in District 8. Caltrans uses innovative means to sustain the highway, state highway system, but one of the most important functions we provide is protecting the environment that surrounds our state highway system. Wildlife mitigation is a huge factor in all we do for each and every project in our district. Our staff is committed to finding ways to help save wildlife habitat and try to reduce our footprint in everything we do. Caltrans Wildlife Crossings Guidance is intended primarily for biologists and engineers and reviews both scientific and agency literature while using case studies from within and outside California to help guide effort to evaluate and avoid, minimize, or compensate for wildlife crossing conflicts. One of those targeted areas was along Interstate 15 in Temecula, where the mountain lion habitat is in dire need of attention in the hillsides surrounding the highways. Southern California's mountain lions could disappear in possibly less than 10 years if landscape connectivity and wildlife crossings are not secured to link the currently isolated populations. More notable is the dire state of mountain lion population in the Santa Ana Mountains. These lines may be lost in less than 12 years if the crossings over and under Interstate 15 are not implemented to allow critically needed genetic exchange and the land beyond is not protected. Caltrans partners with numerous external stakeholders to demonstrate how we can come together to achieve as a network what none of us can accomplish alone. Collaboratively, we are using science across large landscapes such as the Santa Ana Mountains to create wildlife crossings and install wildlife fencing to make highways safer for people and wildlife. Caltrans' contribution to this effort is the recent installation of three miles of via wildlife fencing in each direction along Interstate 15 corridor in Temecula with the ongoing I-15 pavement rehab project. Additional efforts to preserve animal safety are being looked at on State Route 62 with more locations in the district anticipated for review. Caltrans strives to address challenges like these and make a difference to ensure that wildlife and people safely move to the places they need to go and imperiled wildlife such as the mountain lions of this region are connected and protected. Our dedicated environmental planners, biologists, and engineers take our mission and vision 
and values seriously to make environmental analysis an integral part of project delivery at Caltrans. And with that, Mike, I'm going to return it back to you. Thanks for letting me join this video message. Thank you, David. Next, as I do each month, I would like to recognize District 8 employees who have received promotions over the last month. These promotions are as follows. Javier Quintanar, who is now a supervising transportation engineer with the Division of Construction. Barda Arias, who is now an acting senior landscape architect in the Division of Construction. Catherine Barron, who is now the acting supervising transportation engineer for sustainability, asset management, and innovation. Kevin Din, who is now an acting senior transportation engineer in the division of design. Michael Robert, who is now the district office engineer in the division of design. Kat Watt, who is now a senior transportation engineer in the division of design. Siva Sakulam, who is now an acting senior transportation engineer in the Division of Design. Iad Name, who is now an acting maintenance asset management senior in the Division of Maintenance. And Muhad Qureshi, who is now an acting senior transportation engineer in the Division of Construction. Congratulations to everyone, and I encourage all of you to take opportunities whenever possible to grow your current field or maybe even trying something new. Lastly, I want to let all of you know that the Caltrans Strategic Management Plan was recently released. Our vision statement is a brighter future for all through a world class transportation network. Our mission statement is provide a safe and reliable transportation network that serves all people and respects the environment. Our five values are engagement. We inspire and motivate one another through effective communication, collaboration, teamwork, and partnership. Equity. We strive to eliminate disparities while improving outcomes for all. Innovation. We are empowered to seek creative solutions and take intelligent risks. Integrity. We promote trust and accountability through our consistent and ethical actions. And pride. As one Caltrans family, we are proud of our work and strive for excellence in public service. Our six goals are safety first, cultivate excellence, multimodal network, stewardship and efficiency, climate action, equity and livability. More information and details on our strategic management plan will be forthcoming. Please know that all of you have an important role in helping the district reach the goals set out in the strategic management plan. And I know we will be successful in this effort. Thank you all for your hard work. Stay safe and remember, aid is great.